I am Greg Barnes with Inside Carolina. Along with me here is analyst Rob Harrington as we preview the 2018-19 North Carolina Tar Heels. Rob, from the start of preseason practice last year, we heard about the potential of Sterling Manley. And then watching him, a little bit of practice that we got to see last October, and then watching him in November, you're kind of like, he's got a ways to go. But it seemed like by the time we got to January and February, he had shown tremendous growth. Uh, still has a lot of work to do. He's got to get stronger and some things like that. But I think he's really set himself up to have a fantastic career. Can he get to that point so soon? That is the number one question for me. Other than point guard, is in a, in a way, Manley is in competition with some of the forwards in terms of whether Carolina goes small again or if Roy Williams would strongly prefer they can play a more traditional big guy lineup. He would be the most logical contender, I think, to hold down that position because he is more of a true center than the other big guys, and he showed a tremendous penchant for rebounding as a freshman, and that usually bodes well for future development. I also think the high release on his turnaround jump shot is a potential weapon, if not as a sophomore, then as a junior. I think his, you mentioned his development, there are still some things he has to address in terms of his lower body strength, especially given his injury history, that's not surprising. His fitness, his balance, you know, those are things that, those are longer term projects. I think he'll be a very important player this year, whether he is a 25 minute per game player, that might be ambitious, but I'll be surprised if he doesn't get 15 to 20 minutes per game and possibly crunch time minutes when they have to get a rebound. And we know how much the coaching staff prioritizes that in a close game. Yeah, I think some of the struggles that North Carolina had in that, that game against Texas A&M kind of highlighted where he needs to grow. Uh, he spent a lot of time this offseason working on those aspects, especially conditioning. We'll have to see how, how much progress he's actually made.